They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Acts 2.42-2.47 through 247 is the driving force for the way we conduct our ministry. We believe that if we are faithful to Scripture and the early church and the practices that they implemented to spread the gospel, that we will be faithful to the mission of Jesus. The apostles taught that Jesus was the Messiah, that He was the, the prophet and the king that the Old Testament writers had spoken about and were waiting on. You see, the New Testament consists of the writings of the apostles or those who heard them teach. Their teachings were passed down and are recorded in the New Testament. So just as the early church, we too, we, we look towards the apostles for teaching, correction, and training as we seek to follow Jesus. Ultimately, we, we believe that, that God is speaking as we read this book. That God is trying to reveal Himself to us. And so when we read scripture, we are relying on God to speak to us in incredible ways. Fellowship is important to us. So we get together every Wednesday night and Sunday morning. Jesus said to go serve. He said, I came not to be served, but to serve. So we also serve. We serve the local community and the world. Jesse's Place is a regular place for us to visit and do ministry. We also participate in local work projects. In the past, 242 Student Ministries has taken trips to Guatemala and to Mexico to spread the gospel. Conventions and camps and retreats are all part of our ministry as well. We enjoy being encouraged by other believers and hearing the gospel presented in creative ways so that we too can do the same. We believe that God is currently present in our world, that God speaks and God desires for us to speak to Him. So we do our best to listen to God as we read the Bible, as we listen to teaching, and even in our conversations to family and friends and with each other. In prayer, God asks us, He instructs us to ask for wisdom, for guidance, for healing, and to give thanks to Him for everything that He's given us. You see, prayer unites people. So our volunteers, they will get to know you by name and pray with you and for you. Ultimately, we hope that this model of student ministry will create a sense of awe and wonder in the lives of our students and the outside world. We pray and ask that if you currently do not worship Jesus with another student ministry or body of believers, that you would consider joining our ministry as we seek to follow Jesus together.